How's it going, ZFM? We are back in the realm of Zelda. Playing some more. Some more. Playing for the very first time. <sighs> Tears of the Kingdom. We've waited like four or five years for this. I just booted it up. It's the first time ever. We're thrust into a cutscene. Let's go. Oh, it looks like a badass. So does Zelda. What the hell? This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Knowing Hyrule, anything. Zelda, Princess of Hyrule, nice. <gasps> Am I in control? Just that fast. Oh, I have full hearts. Okay, guys, it has been a minute since I've played Breath of the Wild, so I don't necessarily remember <laughs> all of the controls. So I'm gonna look real quick. It's already like coming back to me like immediately though, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, I see. Oh, the sound effects. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. Oh. The last time I played Breath of the Wild was the last episode of my Breath of the Wild series, which we did complete that game. It was like 168 episodes. And now we are super excited to be continuing it in Tears of the Kingdom. I even got my Zelda shirt. We're prepared. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Is it the Plagos? Here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Oh, dude, that's red. It's, that's red, dude. No. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. I need to just unsheath the Master Sword, though, real quick, because that looks spooky AF. It's also not the ultimate Master Sword like I had it. This, 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 this Link clearly did not do enough training in the previous era. So can I just talk to her at any point? Hmm. I never imagined this was all beneath Hyrule Castle. I'm not kidding. I feel like I should probably go first, even though she has the light source. I'll just stick next to her. I, mean, I know nothing can happen, but oh no goodness, that's huh? orcs. <laughs> Or is it goblins? <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen that too. The Master Sword. Hmm. Must be sensing something. Yeah, the malice. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of Calamity, the castle had fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I can never imagine anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Huh? We must be very careful as we move deeper. Dude, I am loving their outfits, by the way. I just want to point that out little like leather uh, protection shoulder pad as well as belt as well as the addition of that cape and maybe even more on her it looks great I didn't watch like any of the trailers by the way the only trailer I saw was that well I, I know Ganon's down here with the with the big spooky uh, green spiral because I watched that at the end of uh, what are these eggs the end of my breath of the wild playthrough there's like obelisks here Log. Interesting. The log. Hmm. These are ruins for an ancient civilization. What does log do? Oh, you can look at the entire. That's cool. Wait, something is written here. These might might these runes be from the Zonai? Who, who are the Zonai? Question. Question for me. 
question for me. Sling sword. Bro, it knows. It knows. It's not swing sword. Oh. Thought I said I thought it meant like unsheath sword. I'm sure there's Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a preposterous civilization in the sky. Wait. We just beat Skyward Sword here on the channel. But I don't remember the Zonai. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Who are the Zonai? I don't remember that. Were they just the people of the sky? Look at these people. They look like the birds a little bit. I love how she's taking pictures of all this. With the flipping, uh, the little iPad. Although it's just a Nintendo Switch. Uh, Zelda? I'm thinking it's time to go down here. Is this what Zonai look like? No, that's what they rode. They seem so different than us. Such large ears. This might be something completely different, you know, than Skyward Sword. So yeah, they, they could they could look like that. How did the ruins of a civilization in the sky end up beneath a castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Well, it's because probably they fell. And then we built a castle on top of them. That's what I'm assuming. I don't need your torch anymore. I got my own light source. This is a very interesting start. It's like Majora's Masky almost. Oh, we got some Keith. They're Keith. That's what they are, Keith. <laughs> it's been so long. Are you Link? No, there's just three bats, dude. Hello? You see me kill Lionels. You see me kill Ganondorf. What's the ancient murals. The ancient murals. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Yeah, he's Ganondorf. He's who attacked 100 years Is ago. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Oh, I guess... Oh, she's just learning that it's just a continuous process that just this continually... Is to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. The reincarnation these cycle. Look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Kind of. These murals tell a similar story, <laughs> and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Damn. This figure. Well, that's he seems definitely to be Ganondorf. Something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. Yeah, but that's all in the past, Zelda. If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Yeah, he came back. Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. Look at those flying things at the top. You see that? This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. 
She's so excited. Link's like, I'll just hold the torch. Yeah, I get it. All right, I get it, Link. Now to use this invention of Pura's. Oh. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. This one, this I thought this looked so a little different. To record. You point it and click. Oh. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Do I got any bombs? <laughs> like a tiny pickaxe and a broom. Just what is this place? <laughs> Archaeologists. Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Yeah, that's looking a little ominous. Link, let's keep moving deeper. How about we just ignore the, the evil red smoke and uh, see what it does to us? I want to go over here, though, first, Zelda, because, you know, <laughs> I've played Zelda. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I've explored dungeons before. Yeah. Okay, nothing. <laughs> These eggs are very interesting. Little ornate eggs. I guess, I don't know. The, those Z Z Zorai, they almost look like the Rito people, don't they? Oh, they're starting to get a little bit more intense, a little bit more ominous, a little bit more spooky. Um, I don't really want to walk through them, even though I'm sure that's fine. God, this looks sick, actually. Does this look better than Breath of the Wild? Because, like... These lighting effects and stuff. Maybe I'm just, I just don't remember. Having had to play a, an HD remake of Skyward Sword recently. As well as all the other old HD remake of Twilight Princess. Uh, we played Majora's Mask. We played a lot of Zelda games in between Breath of the Wild and this one, guys. We flipping trained up. We flipping trained up. I'm ready to go. I'm Zelda expert now. I've played most of the 3D Zeldas, if not all of them, actually. This is starting to look less like a man-made tunnel. And more like something that was dug out somewhat recently. See the smoke? Does it dissipate from the Master Sword a little bit? Maybe? Not really. Oh, this music. What are we in Destiny 2? What is this? I remember it from the trailer, but holy crap. Took the words out of my mouth, Zelda. There's the tear. Yeah, I saw it on the hand. <laughs> Quick touch, make sure it's not hot. Smart. It's a tear. And it looks like it brought him back to life. Or it kept him in stasis, maybe. Yes. Oh, uh, three hearts. Wow. Link. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power. Cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword. A link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Wow. 
Wow. I knew the Master Sword gets messed up, but that was epic. Also, he's... Sending the castle into the sky. I can't tell if he was destroying it or... Holy crap. Bro, this guy is so weird. He's terrifying. I just went for it. Did I leave the Master Sword or sheath it? I missed anyway. She's fine. She just got taken by the god of something. Oh, that thing was holding him down, I think. It would suck to live in this universe. Like, it'd be awesome for most of the time, but man, it would suck. I guess that's kind of like ours. Awesome most of the time, but really sucky some of the time. Welcome to Tears of the Kingdom, the next game we are going to be playing through on the channel, CFAM. <laughs> this is a completely blind playthrough. Let's watch. No shot, this is my hand now. Is this my arm? And like my companion maybe? That's cool. <laughs> Bro, I got some sick tats now. Oh, my hair grew, how long have I been out? Got it, 100 years again. That's what I would be saying. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, Link, finally you wake. Hmm. It's the hand, Link. Come on. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. I like his voice. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Not the arm, never mind. I'm the dummy. <laughs> As usual. What about my clothes? <laughs> so I'm assuming weapons still break then. That's insane. The sword that seals the darkness of sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Is that what we're calling it now? The Gloom instead of Malice? Carry nine swords. Nice. Including that. Yeah. Thank you, game. I do have a pro controller. It is the Super Smash Bros. Uh, limited edition one. So... I know there's not going to be anything in here, probably, but... Oh, you the climbing, dude. Oh, I missed climbing stuff. Just being able to climb everything. Man, what a good game. A little cir circle. There's a little circle on the wall here. <laughs> 
this looks sick. Oh, if this game utilizes that green light, I am gonna love that. Green is my favorite color. The blue light from Breath of the Wild is good, but green, man. Oh, it's, it's like see-through almost. Interesting. This thing. Oh, it's, I got footprints. So it looks like I can jump on those and climb on them. I'm assuming this brings me around up top. Uh, oh, maybe not. Those clearly look like I can climb on them though, right? To get up there from there. But can I just climb up this? No. Okay, I didn't think I would be able to climb up these walls. Like, let's try this wall. Oh, I can't even climb up this thing. Yeah, no, we're just we're just gonna go forward. They clearly don't want us to really much with that yet, if anything at all. A little vegetation, nice. Jump. Swimming is still swimming. Looks like. Okay. Still kind of like a thing that's not really a thing in this game, probably. Okay, one thing I will say. God, I hope they added normal fishing. We shall see, though. I do enjoy the collection aspect of Breath of the Wild, so all good if they don't. Oh, Link, this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit deeper. A little bit steeper. Steeper and deeper. Not a problem for you. Oh, it made rain. That's cool. Good effect. Ooh, what do we got here? This is a new looking chest. Oh, my hand can open it. Archaic legwear. Simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they still got a few good years left in them. It can be cumbersome to have to tie the straps. <laughs> they look like ancient Roman wear. <laughs> That's great. Inventory, we have armor, weapons, and system. Okay. I wonder if system has any options that we care to look at. Uh, disable, disable, camera set. This is all looking okay to me. Aim with motion controls? Absolutely not. Um, I'm one of those crazy people who doesn't like that. We definitely want to lock that to north because that is just infinitely more useful. Message window transparency. Normal. English. Pro, no. I'm glad they have that back in there. Uh, yeah, this is all looking good to me. Special controls. You have my attention. <laughs> Let's do it. So it doesn't look like I can go this way. Which is why I went that way. Now let us go towards the obvious way. Ooh. Light at the end of the tunnel. And a rock floating in the sky? Any height. Any, any height. I don't know who told me that, but any height, huh? Where the f f are we? Hold up. Can I climb up this? Oh, man, that looks really climbable, though, doesn't it? But what? The hell? Let's do it. Can I move around? <laughs> We're back, Z fam. We're back. Oh, dragon! Which one is that? Let's go. Let's 
accelerate. Ah. Uh, oh, super acceleration. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. What is over here? I see something shiny. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I see something very shiny over here that I immediately want to go to, even though I know there is definitely something over there. It's a stick! Yes! Give me the stick. Wooden branches. Pretty common, well balanced. Doesn't do a day. I serve a weapon in a pinch. So it is hold right on the d-pad got you i gotta get used to these controls again it has been a minute that i played breath of the wild we got a stick though that's good let's go up here a little bit and around this way <laughs> yes is that the game where i could just jump around gotta love it man You don't see me. How do you see me? I don't like that. What are you? Oh, you got a stick too? What are you? Okay, that was bad on my part. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to see if you can do this still. <laughs> I dodged into it. I forgot that the camera does whichever way, so I don't have a flurry rush yet if I do get it. The camera does... You bastard. Taking years. Hey, you don't like that, do you? Punk? Ooh. Soldier construction horn. A blade made from the horn of a soldier. Country. Very sharp. Well, with care. And a Zonai charge? A material used to a power source for the construction of other devices. Strange light seems to re reveal potent energy inside. That seems familiar. Apples. Gotta love apples. So. Um. Wow. I, I, what I was trying to say is that the game it, it, it's directional. So if I hold back on my uh, my controller, right? Link will walk towards the camera no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So I don't hold forward there. If I hold forward, he walks backwards right now. It's something you have to remember when you're locked on specifically, because it's very important for dodging. Because see, look, I'm holding back. I expect him to do a backflip, but instead he jumps to the side. It's not a complaint. It's just how the game is. And I need to remember that. Oh, a, st a better stick. Yes. It's a stick with a grip. It does four damage instead of two. Okay, so it's right on the D-pad. I remember that, too. What's going on with this? We got, like, a little, little altar-looking thing. Holy cow, I'm excited to play this game. I will say, Z-Fam, so this Zelda playthrough is pr a little bit different than most of my Zelda playthroughs in that it is normally pretty vibe. My Breath of the Wild playthrough, bro, I see things, I go to things, I hang out. It's, it's a vibe, man. So... <laughs> I hope y'all are here for the ride. It's probably going to be a really long ride, I imagine. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Grasshopper. It's a cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery potion. That's pretty sick. Can I still do like, the dash? Oh, yeah, I can. I actually learned about this dash in my brother's Leashed Sword playthrough. How to utilize this a lot more. This playthrough of Breath of the Wild, I should say. <gasps> mushrooms? These look like new mushrooms. What are these? Sky Shroom. Common mushroom that grows near trees and skylands. Eat it to restore health. We could just eat some stuff real quick to get me up to full. Might as well. This thing looks like it might be an enemy. I don't know what it is. I'm hitting it. Render foe. Desktop. Friend, I hope. 
Looks like a salamander. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Princess Zelda. The Pyrapad, of course. I have told it would be an invaluable tool to provide you with direction. If it gives me a map, yeah. Assuming it's a lot like the Sheikah Slate. Except, you know, maybe like the pro version that we don't have. The Pyrapad. Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for your adventure. Check out with Minus. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is awaiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place no one visits. There's another salamander over there. Thank you. Yes, this is the Garden of Time. Apologies. I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the d indicated location. Take care as you do so. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Adventure log. Album. Oh, these are the pictures she took. There I am! That's me! It's really cool that there's pictures that she took, actually. Oh, where, where was the location marked, actually? That's the Temple of Time. Can I, like, stamp? <gasps> I can. We were going here. Uh. Yes, I was wondering if I had this. I can't tell which one that is. Is it the blue one? <laughs> There's that frame right lag. Good old Nintendo Switch. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else for me to do here, necessarily. I think, unless... I'm not one to 100% games, necessarily. Um, I did 100% Skyward Sword. It's just kind of all depends, you know what I mean? I did a lot in Breath of the Wild. I did most of it, I will say. Why? Well, I, I did a lot. <laughs> I didn't 100% it, though. Absolutely not. There's like a snow island down there to the right. Do I need to get a doublet of warmth? Holy cow, it's good to be back in this physics engine. Just saying. This is nice. What's this? It's like a... Oh! It's like a dead one that we can get things from. Of course, of course. Um, Apples, yes. We do actually need apples. We're like... We don't have anything, especially with an unlimited inventory. I'm assuming this is what we have still. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Nice. What is this thing? Oh, it's a pot! <gasps> he didn't care. Okay, I actually don't want to use this weapon. I want to use... Um, this is good, because we're getting used to the controls again. Your behavior is a threat. Bro, I'm just breaking all your pots. Masteroid's running low on energy. Bro, all you did was break four pots. And throw the weapon in your hand, but not the master sword. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against the soldier constructs? What are they? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect the land. The Zonai who created us directed them to elim eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. <laughs> These guys are awesome. That was like a broken one here. 
You can see three soldier constructs down there on that uh, lesser higher platform. Interesting. Another stick. We're getting a lot of sticks. I mean, these sticks, three hits and they're busted. I feel like sticks in real life last a little bit longer, you know? I feel like the stick mechanics of this game, not, not very realistic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I keep pushing the wrong button to accelerate. A frog! Yes! Hot-footed hot frog! These give you speed. They're good, they're good. Oh, can I get him? I can. X to dash. How do I throw? R. I keep pushing R, R, T or whatever. Actually, let's see if this guy likes it. Crap. What are you doing there? Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoa. I fell way down here, dude. Come down here. He has the high ground. Any attack that causes your weapon to break will do double damage. Okay, well, I need another weapon. Let's just take this and throw it at him. And then let us actually get a club. Oh, I do have Flurry Rush. Excellent. I need your stick. All right, cool. We're getting some monster parts. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, so I sh it probably should take this time to say that these episodes will be 30 minutes long. However, every 10th episode will be an hour long. And normally I will just do dungeons in one shot. Normally, we'll see what happens. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do with that. Um, but yeah, so expect daily 30 minute or an hour long episodes. Since this is the first episode, I'll make it an hour long. Just because... I mean, I looked at the time and it was like 30 minutes and I was like, man, literally all we've watched is cutscenes so far. And I kind of just want to play. It's very foggy, isn't it? I guess they just expect us to walk straight towards the temple. I mean, there could be things that we could explore, though. <gasps> like these. What are you guys? What the heck are you guys? Oh, they don't like me. Punk? Get back here. Come here. Give me your meat. Yes. You can cook it. Ha ha ha. That's some delicious meat there. We take that. Take that in our stride. Can I climb this tree and just like see what's going on everywhere? Dude, I bet there's secrets around here that I'm missing. I almost guarantee it. But, you know, that just is how it is. Okay. <laughs> All good. Oh, man. Like I said, this is this is going to be a vibe series. I'm not going to say that anymore. I just want to emphasize it on the first episode. This is going to be a vibe series. Expect it to be second monitor content, honestly, for the most part. Give me that hot-footed frog! Yes. Ah. Uh. What is this like big, is this like a roller coaster looking thing? You see that? The like big line? It's like a minecart track or something. We're actually going crazy on these collectibles. Oh. Oh, no, no. Yes. Those birds, they give like bird meat. I wonder if I can hit them with a stick from here. We really need to get a bow and arrow. Bow and arrows, dude, were my favorite part of Breath of the Wild. First try, bruh. We are a ranged warrior. That is what I am telling you. Absolutely. Let's see if this bird likes this rock. He's gonna charge me. Watch, 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 watch the charge. And oh, no, he's gonna run away. 
he knew I had a big old rock and he was like, oh, did he really make, it looks like he made a path in the grass. Do you see that? Wait a second, no shot. Do they make paths in grass? Do I make a path? Or was that path just always there? Can you track? Oh, whoops. I should be like sneaking around. These sky shrooms. We'll make some excellent food later, I'm sure. It's another salamander out of fire. We better go say hi to him. He'll probably tell us some useful information. There was a guy down there that we were supposed to fight. I kind of want to get used to fighting, so I'm going to go ahead and fight him before I talk to the salamander. Just because, you know. Ah! I pushed the wrong button for jump. Oh, what are you doing there? Oh, a double hit. That killed me! <laughs> Forgot to heal. Oh my god. Guys, there will also be a lot of deaths. If you remember Breath of the Wild, man, I had a lot of deaths. Although I didn't expect a death on the first freaking episode. <laughs> I think I died in the first episode of the last series as well. Which is pretty funny. Oh my god, how far back am I? Also, do I have my things? Okay, not far back at all. There's two. Excellent. Oh, he's got a spear. What are you doing? Stop that. Ow, that hit? Ah, I keep pushing the wrong button to jump. It's not good. A long stick. Nice. Got a backflip on those, Link. Backflip. Flurry Rush is so good. I want a shield. I want to start parrying. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's probably good we're getting all these things too, honestly. Yeah, I don't want that. Long stick sucks too, but it's better than a regular stick, right? Ah, that knocked an apple down. Anything else around here? I can loot. Eh? Okay, we need to we need to get used to eating. Is what we need to do. We need to get used to doing that a lot. But we also need to cook some friggin' food. We haven't found a cooking pot yet. All right, we're, we're literally just starting out. We gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> Let's talk to the salamander. We gotta get going. Get into the, the toasty. The heat brings out its flavor and amount of health it can restore. Ah, I roasted that. But it's yours if you want. I had not noticed before you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks, it is to explain anything that villagers might require knowledge of. If you have questions about this place, please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question about my roasting food, I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. So you no longer need a cooking pot. You could just roast things beside the fire. I think you always could do that. You just place them on the fire and they start on fire kind of deal. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. You know, I actually read that um, one of the reasons why we as humans have uh, such advanced brains is because of the fact that we were able to utilize fire um, to cook our food, to give it way more nutrients and vitamins, which gave us, over the course of thousands of years, um, more enhanced uh, select a recipe. What? You can just grab all the ingredients. That's pretty cool. And uh, basically allowed us to be where we're at today. So if I just... <laughs> oh, I didn't want to start on fire. Drop them on the fire here. Do we get some delicious food? It looks like that one's not cooking. Oh, there it goes. There we go. And I could cook all my uh, meat as well, all right? Wait, where's my meat? Do I not have them because I died? Well, I think I had three hot-footed frogs, too. Well, that's a friggin' bummer. If I go to the place of my ex, do I get anything? 
not look like it. That's all good. We'll get more and more and more and more and more and more and more as the game goes on. <laughs> I hope you all are having an excellent launch to this game, by the way, ZFam. I personally took off five days from work to be able to play this bad boy. And my fiance is also visiting her friend in Orlando, so Florida. So I will be playing this for a minute. Maybe another time. He's just telling me to roast things. Um, before I go up there, I want to go over here. Just a little bit. I just want to look around. So you can walk on these. You can stand on these lily pads. But I don't see anything worth standing on. I don't see anything worth standing on. I like to explore, guys and girls, Z fam. I like to explore. Expect a lot of that. Let's get up there already at the Temple of Time, eh? All right, 45 minutes into this bad boy. Uh, yes, right here. The designs are the same as my matats. Oh, you have a shield. I keep pushing a, a different button to jump. And that that move is really easy to flurry rush. I'm just gonna kill him because I want this sword and this shield. Old wooden shield. Such as arrows. Yes. We can parry. And a rusty broadsword. Oh, I can't. Well, this one's probably busted. I don't think I took his loot. Oh, I make footprints. Nice. Let's go take his loot. I like a Zen Garden-esque sand here. Egg? No. <laughs> I wanted to take the egg. The, it's also going to be... I'm saying it again. It's also going to be a vibe uh, uh, series because of the nature of the music. Listen to that music. It's just very calming. Explora exploratory. Ooh. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. <gasps> I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Damn, look at him. I am Raru. He's like Anubis. Source of the right. Oh, yeah, you see his arm is like a spirit. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. I figured it would be him. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Hmm. Where do we got one of them lying around? Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? So those are what shrines look like? <laughs> the shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Copy that, friend. Well, let's make our way to the shrine. Oops, I mean to put two there. Oh, that actually looks sick. <laughs> That's where we're going. Hmm. Man, this is crazy. I wonder how they're going to allow us to get to these, like, islands that are higher up, if they ever do. I feel like they would, right? Like, why would they even have them if you, they didn't let you get there? 
Astronomo! We'll just fight this guy real quick. How do I parry again? Let's. Yes. <gasps> He's got a bow. Attack him. Give me your bow. Oh, I should have let him shoot at this thing like a million times. Ah, oh, I should have let him shoot at that rock a million times. I could have got so many arrows. Oh, well. Oh, he had five arrows anyway. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Oh, yes, the bow. Okay, so I'm not very good at console shooters, I will admit. I'm much more of a PC guy myself, but... Oh, I love bow and arrows. God, I love bow and arrows so much in video games. Oh, more arrows. Really, dude? Let's just not do that, huh? Do I have any sticks? I have, like, a broken sword, but, yeah, I have a lot of branches. <laughs> We need to chuck this at someone. What are these weird little um things? Like a metal grate. I guess just to prevent you from falling off. Swim there. Uh I guess we just continue to explore this way, huh? Towards the shrine. You can see it on the menu app, it's up here. As we But I heard something. As we continue to get used to all the controls. Yeah, I do hear something. It's like a bird or something. Could go down there. Oh. Uh, I forget what these are called. Rush rooms. That's right. They increase your movement speed. I think we have another thing that increases movement speed. The, the, the frog. So maybe that, that'll uh, combine both of those. We get some super rush. You know what I'm saying? That was an ominous noise. God dang. Wonder if it's because the sun is setting. I'm not seeing anything. I think we'll just continue our way to the shrine. The Ukau Shrine. It's like just a big rock. Look at this thing. What is going to happen when I use it? Is it going to come out of the ground or something? Or is like a door going to open? Ah, portal in. Of course. Whoa. That's cool. No, that's where you um, teleport back to the start, I'm assuming. That is cool. Wow. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to load. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be a dungeon that I'm just in now. Nah, there's a loading screen. <laughs> God, I love the green. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe... This light will restore an ability to your right arm. An ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. You gonna give me bombs? It's a hand. In my hand. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects? Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. What, like, force move? With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. We use ultra hound and receive the blessing from this shrine. What? Ability to create? I create bridge! Yes. 
Bridge complete. Absolutely magnificent. Oh. It makes like a slime. Oh, that's not right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Unstick. Oh, you gotta like shake it. That's kind of cool. How do I like rotate? Hold R. Oh, wrong R. Oh my goodness. So L. D pad. Oh my. Oh, it's, but it's on a it's on a forty five degree axis. Nice. It's pretty forgiving with the uh, with the attach, which is very nice. What the heck, dude? They saw Planet Zoo in Minecraft and they were like, bruh, we need to add this to Zelda. That's sick. Oh my god. Imagine the stuff you can do with that. Holy crap. There's gonna be some insane puzzles potentially. This place is pretty big, isn't it? What the crap do we got going on here? Okay, I know what they want. We gotta take this guy, we gotta we gotta artist boy, rotate. Yeah, like that, and down like this, and then bippity bop, like so. We're gonna put him right here, like so. Yes, cancel. We're going to take, uh, take this one. No. I like remove him from the wall. Look like it. So I want to not waste an arrow. It's gonna take a second to get used to these controls, I will say. Uh, we want to rotate him like so, and then we want to go like this and attach. If it pop, and then wait, no, 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 come back. <laughs> yes, cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, check behind the shrine for a secret chest. No, no secret chest. Doesn't look like it. What are these like big boom things? No secret chest. That's so cool. That is such a cool thing. Oh, that's so cool. You have done well to reach this place. This is Zelda and uh Oh, I already forgot his name. Ru Rua? Rua? Ru Rue, something like that. We offer the light that will cleanse you of evil. Zelda's probably already fulfilling her role. Somehow. <laughs> it goes into my arm instead of my chest. Ooh. Well, I suppose that arm is corrupt because it was the thing that was holding down uh, your boy. Not Ganondorf, Gloom Boy. Uh, I forget his name. Did they even say his name? Anyway. <laughs> light of blessing crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Thank you, sir. Yes. Y you as well, I guess. Back into your hidey hole. Well, that was cool. So I guess it brings me back to the beginning of the shrine. We have one orb and one that thing. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine. You have restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two other shrines, of course, you should be able to open the door of the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with the pins. You'll never lose track of where they are that way. The pier pad offers a very handy scope. As I'm sure you're all well aware. Yes, I am. Does it get rid of scopes? Oh, that symbol was a shrine, so we've done one shrine. It does get rid of the scopes as you walk over them. I don't think Breath of the Wild did that. Maybe it did. It might have. It honestly might have. I don't know why I marked that, because that's not a shrine. 
So it is something that I'm curious about. The shrine. What is that shadow? Is it a cloud? What? <laughs> How is this game on Switch, dude? That is epic. Okay. What am I doing? I've already forgotten. Okay. Uh, shrine right here. And where is this other shrine? I think it's over here, right there. There we go. Epic. Okay, so we have a fire down here. Actually, oh, that's what that is. <gasps> We're going to ride that at the start of the next episode. So that's going to conclude episode one, Z fam. It has been excellent. We already have a new power. I'm looking forward to this crap so much. Oh, my God, that's going to be amazing. I hope to see you in the next episode tomorrow where we will go down this uh, thing. And uh, most importantly, I hope you all have a great day. Peace out, Z fam.